my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be doing a little mini Ulta haul so if you guys didn't see my last video I did a video trying um, a bunch of new products doing a full face of makeup of makeup that I've never tried before so I did pick up a lot of stuff from Ulta that I've never tried and I was kind of like I want to do a little mini Ulta haul just because I love hauls and I feel like I can talk about it a little bit more in depth than just getting the product on my face, if that makes sense. So I have my computer here. I pulled up my e-receipt from Ulta. That way I can talk to you guys about how much it was. My total wasn't even that much. My total was $86.88. So in my opinion, that's like not that bad for the amount of products that I got. So when I was driving home, I was like, I want to do the makeup video, but I also want to do a little mini Ulta haul. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right in. So the first thing that I got was this Morphe Fluidity Concealer. This is in the shade C1.55. It's kind of like a light to medium with neutral undertones. I usually go for anything with neutral undertones because I don't have like yellow undertones, but I don't have pink undertones. I'm kind of more in like the olive range. So I kind of just go to neutrals. Every time I get something with yellow undertones, it just looks a little bit strange on me. So I'm definitely more neutral. So that's why I picked this up. So this was $10 and to me, for a Morphe product for this size, I don't know, it's just not even that much. So when I saw it, I definitely wanted to try it. I haven't tried a bunch of things from Morphe. It's like a brand that I want to try a lot more products from, but I just never really try a lot of Morphe products. So this is the first thing that I got. I really, really like this concealer. If you guys haven't seen the video of me trying out all these products and giving my opinion on them, I would definitely go check that video out. It is linked down in the description box and also there will be a card um, somewhere up here for you to click on so definitely go check that video out but this concealer I really really liked it this was only ten dollars like I said which was really good I feel like it's gonna last me a pretty long time so I'm definitely impressed with this like I said I want to try more Morphe products so if you guys have any Morphe products that you recommend definitely leave them down below for me so I'm just going in the order of the e-receipt on my computer so the next thing we have is the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. This is in the shade Black on Black. This was only $8, so for me, that's like a great price, especially for a mascara. I feel like that's pretty average, pretty good price, so nothing like crazy here. Again, I haven't tried much from ColourPop. I like that they have um, their own little section in Ulta. I'm glad Morphe has the same thing, just so I can get more of an idea of their products because it's hard to buy stuff online. I really don't like buying a lot of makeup online. I like to go in the store, take my time, kind of compare everything and check out like all the different colors that they have. So definitely online is not, not my thing when it comes to buying makeup. So I haven't really seen anything about this mascara. So when I saw that it was only $8, I was like, why not? Why am I not gonna try this? It's pretty simple. I mean, it's just a basic volumizing mascara. The packaging is very simple, not basic as in like, that's basic, but basic as in like minimal, um, simple, nothing too crazy. So I do like the packaging. It's really cute. Next up, I have a, another Morphe product. This is the Bake and Set Setting Powder in Translucent. They had a bunch of different ones. They had Translucent. They had, I think, like a pink powder. They had a banana powder for sure. I was debating between the banana powder and um, the Translucent. I do have a Makeup Revolution setting powder that is a banana shade. So I was like, why am I going to get two banana powders? That doesn't really make any sense. So I did get the Translucent and I really, really liked it. This was only $12. Again, it seems pretty average to me. It didn't seem like crazy. If this was like 20 bucks, I probably wouldn't have bought it, but $12 I feel like is worth it. So it does come with a lot of product. I mean, this is a pretty good setting spray. Again, it's just simple Morphe packaging. So I did like it. It's really good. I didn't have anything like negative to say about it. I did do that video like a couple hours ago and my makeup still looks good. So don't really have any issues with that, but definitely gonna use this more and see if I truly truly like it next up I got two wet n wild color icon bronzers I love wet n wild they are probably one of my favorite drugstore brands ever their brushes foundations their setting sprays everything I love wet n wild like seriously so that's why when I saw these bronzers I was like you know what I haven't bought anything from wet n wild in a little bit and I love their products so I got two of these color icon bronzers this one is called Ticket to Brazil, and this one is What Shady Beaches. Like I said in my last video, if something says Brazil on it, there's like a 
99 chance that I'm going to buy it. Just because if you guys didn't know, I am Brazilian. My parents are Brazilian. So everything that says Brazil on it, I'm just like, I have to buy it. Like nail polish, makeup, I have to buy it. So I did get this one, but then I was like, maybe it's going to be a little bit too light for my skin tone. So I saw What Shady Beaches and it's definitely a lot darker, but in that video, I did mix the two. I started with this one first, the Brazil one, and then What Shady Beaches. And it actually turned out pretty, pretty nice. This one's definitely a great daytime bronzer. And then you can amp it up with this one for the nighttime. So that's something to consider if you guys like a daytime to nighttime transition. They did have like, I think four other shades or maybe four shades total, and this was two of them. Not really sure. They were kind of like mixed up together, so I couldn't really tell, but I got these two, and one of them is 549, which I guess to me, that's pretty average. Again, Wet n Wild, really good brand, average prices. So nothing here was more than $12. Everything I got, I got a really good deal for everything, I would say, so definitely a lot of product in here. So it's going to make that 549 last a long time. I'm definitely glad I got two of these because this is perfect for me right now when I want like a neutral, like nice natural bronzer. But then when the summertime hits and I get a little bit more tan, I can definitely amp it up with this one. So 549 for one of these is pretty good deal. Next up, I got a, another Morphe product. I've been definitely into Morphe this shopping trip. This is their collaboration with Madison Beer. It's their lip gloss. Um, it's just their lip gloss in the shade Venus. So if you don't know who Madison Beer is, she's a singer. She was discovered by Justin Bieber. So she has a new collaboration with Morphe, which I really wanted to buy some more stuff, but I was like, I have to control myself. So I'll probably go back and get some more stuff. But I saw this lip color and it is so pretty. When I saw this in the store, I was like, I definitely need to buy that. She had a bunch of different um, shades that were all names of the planet. So this one is Venus. I remember seeing Mars and Saturn, I think, but this one really just stood out to me. I'm wearing it on my lips right now and it is like the perfect shade for me. It's definitely like my natural lip color, but just a little bit darker, um, a little bit more enhanced, a little bit more pink, but not too much. So I love it. It's definitely going to be my go-to, like seriously, and the formula is really, really good. So this lip gloss was only $10, which again, pretty good price for this. Um, I feel like even if they did a collaboration with like a big artist like Madison Beer, they could have charged like $20, $25 for this lip gloss. But the fact that it's only $10 was perfect for me. So this is definitely going to be my new go-to lip color for sure. Next up, I got a Maybelline BB Cream. This is the Dream BB Fresh. Skin Hydrating Beauty Balm 8-in-1 Skin Perfector. It has SPF 30 in it. So I got the shade 110 Light Medium. I wasn't too sure about the shades. They didn't have many shades. They had like light, light to medium, medium, and then like I think maybe two darker shades. I don't remember what the names were, but I knew that light was going to be way too light for me and I'm definitely like a light medium. So this color was absolutely perfect for me. On the back, it talks about the benefits. So it blurs imperfections, enhances, brightens, adjusts the skin tone, smooths, hydrates, helps protect with SPF 30, and there's 0% oils and other heavy ingredients. So when I was in Ulta, there were like a bunch of different BB creams and lighter foundations. I didn't want a heavy full coverage foundation because I feel like I have so many of those. And now that it's getting hot outside, I just don't want it. So I was looking for a BB cream. Um, so I googled the best ones of 2021 and this one came up. I don't know if it was the best one overall, but I think it might have been if I'm not mistaken because I did see one that was good for dry skin, but I didn't buy that one because my skin hasn't been so dry. So I think I did go for the overall good one. So luckily they had it in the store, so I was able to get it. This is really, really, really good. I have it on my skin right now. Again, it's been like a couple hours since I did my makeup for the last video and my skin feels really nice. It looks like skin. Definitely like that article was definitely right. Like this is a really good BB cream. So this product was $8.99, which isn't that bad. Honestly, I don't know how long it's gonna last me just because it's a small bottle. This is definitely a good BB cream if you're looking for a new one for the spring and the summer. It's definitely gonna be a new staple of mine. So $8.99 for this product was pretty well worth it in my opinion. So if you guys are interested, I would definitely recommend it. Next up, I got a product that I didn't really need, but 
when I was walking around Ulta and I saw it and I was like, you know what? I'm just buying other products for the video. Why not just buy this? This is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in the shade Dark Brown. I don't really need another brow gel. I have two already here at home, but now I have a third. So I was like, why not? I love brow gel. Brow gel is something that I literally wear all day. If I don't wear makeup, I always have brow gel on. If I'm at home and just chilling and like it's a day off, I probably won't wear brow gel, but if I go outside, there's like a 99% chance that I have brow gel on. Just because my brows are so thick and the hairs are so long, I just need brow gel. I can kind of get away with no brow gel if it's like the day after I get them waxed or like a couple days after, but I always, I always need some brow gel. So I got this one. This one was only $7. Not bad. It is a little bit small for $7. I guess I could have got one that was like four or five. I usually use the e.l.f. Wow Brow, I think it's called. Um, I usually use that one. I think that's only like four or five dollars. So this one for seven dollars isn't like too crazy, but I don't know. I feel like it could have been five dollars, six dollars at the most. But either way, it's a good brow gel and I liked it. My brows seem to be doing pretty well. So far, so good with this product. I mean, the wand is really small, so there is a lot of product that gets deposited onto my brows. So I did like that. I'll have to compare it with my e.l.f. one and see which one I like better, but this one for $7, like I said, not bad. Could have been a little bit less. It is the same like size as the e.l.f. one, I think, but again, maybe the ColourPop brand just brings it up a little bit. So definitely a good product. I have nothing really negative to say about it. So next up, I got a product that I actually wasn't even gonna buy. This is a liquid eyeliner. I actually wasn't even trying to get one, but then when I saw this one from ColourPop, this is their BFF liquid liner in the shade Numero Uno, which is just, I think their darkest black. And this was $8. I wasn't gonna buy one just because I am not good with liquid liner. Like, I'm pretty bad at it. Unless I practice every single day, then I'll be like great at it, but I just don't wear liquid liner every day so then I kind of forget everything and it's just a mess so when I saw this one it's really really thin so that's why it kind of intrigued me because I was like hmm maybe if it's that thin I could do it like maybe it'll be foolproof and like it's made for me and I can actually do it when I used it in the video that I did for this makeup it actually was pretty easy um I didn't do a wing just because I was a little bit too scared I don't think I'm ready for that yet, but I'm definitely going to practice with it. Again, this was $8, so for me, that's not bad at all for a liquid liner, especially because it's so thin. That way, I feel like I'm not going to mess up. I do have um, other liquid liners that are a bit thicker, and it can be a little bit more difficult because when I'm going just around my eye, I feel like if I just make one wrong move, it's going to be like super, super thick, and it's going to ruin the whole makeup, which I have... It's like happened to me so many times. So when I saw this one and how thin it was, I just, I had to take a chance and I was like $8. That's like a no brainer for me. So I'm definitely gonna practice more with this. Hopefully, hopefully soon in a video, I can do a little wing with no problem, but we will see. That's just wishful thinking. So hopefully, hopefully soon. Next up, I got a pencil eyeliner, which I didn't really need, but for the video, I wanted to get something that you know, I never tried. So this is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Very Black. So this was only $2.99 and I don't really have much to say about it. The fact that it was only $2.99, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy a new one just for the video, but it worked well. I don't really have much to say about it just because it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't horrible. I've had some pencil eyeliners in the past that were really, really bad and did not line anything. Like no matter how hard I pushed on my eye, like it just did not work. This one was fine. Again, I don't have much to say about it. It wasn't like amazing, but it wasn't horrible. It's just a pretty average one for $2.99. I'm glad it worked. So yeah, not much to say about this one, but it's a good pencil. So lastly, I got a NYX lip liner. This is in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. I was actually looking for a lip liner to go with the Madison Beer lip gloss. So I was searching through the drugstore section of Ulta and I tried to find one that was like not too dark, and not too far away from the color, but one that was like pretty similar. So this is them together. 
I definitely think they're a really good match. I really like NYX products in general and their lip liners are really nice. They're like normal lip liners. They're not super creamy. They're not super harsh either. You kind of just glide them on your lips and you're good to go. So this one actually worked really well. They're very similar in color. I feel like this one is a little bit more baby pink than the Madison Beer lip gloss. So they kind of work themselves out together and this is the lip combo that I got. And I really, really liked it. This is definitely gonna be my new favorite lip combo. And especially because both of these are really inexpensive. So if I lose one or if I run out, I can definitely go to Ulta and get another one. And I just love the fact that it's kind of like a nude for me. Like they're not super pink. They're not like a red. They're not an orange. Like it's just a nice neutral color to have. So definitely love these. I just feel like I got some really good stuff at Ulta today. And sometimes, you know, when you go shopping and you just can't find anything, like you're searching up and down, even if it's clothes for me, sometimes I think I'm going to have a good shopping day and then I don't. It's like the worst feeling, but Luckily, all this stuff I really like. So if you guys haven't seen the video of me actually trying out all the products, I would definitely go watch that. Again, it's linked down in the description box. So definitely go check that one out. So that's pretty much all I bought from Ulta. Again, my total was only around like $80 for the amount of stuff I got. That's pretty good in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. If you guys are interested in any of the products, they will all be listed down below from Ulta's website. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll get notified every single time I upload and you'll never miss a video from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.